What's up guys, it's Dimitri here from Lomate Tutoring and today to continue my weekly tutor tip series video uh, for number six I'm going to be talking about uh, rest and rejuvenation. Now as we uh, draw close to the end of term two and we approach the term two holidays as well as many of you finishing your university exams and going on break it's now time to reflect on having a rest and, and rejuvenating yourself for, for next term and beyond. Um, now uh, many students at this time of the year are going to start feeling restless and so forth and as tutors you need to understand uh, is it time to give them a break, is it time to even give myself as a tutor a break. Um, when I used to tutor myself, I, I was tutoring seven days a week for a very long time and I got to the point where I, I definitely burnt out. And you, can, you know when you're burning out, you can feel it, you just feel incredibly exhausted. Um, so make sure as a tutor that you first look out for yourself, you look out for your health and you, you take the time off when it's necessary so that you don't get sick. Otherwise, you suffer, your students suffer, and it's really an unpleasant experience for everyone. Um, in addition to that, it's also good to look out for your students to see if they're suffering, if they're uh, tired, worn down, and so forth, and need a break. Um, so if they're displaying signs of irritability during the lessons, if they're struggling to concentrate, if they're not being able to complete the work uh, that you set them when in the past they have been able to do it, um, if they seem angry, angry or, or argumentative, then it's time to give them a break to ensure that they can rest and recover for, for term three. Um, and particularly students, you know, we kind of have, as I'm sure you guys know, in year 12, there's kind of this curve where, you know, things just kind of go downhill from term one. So that's obviously going to continue for many students as they approach term three, where the weather's still pretty crap and they have a lot of work to do. So it's really important you know that you're there, you have to be there to support the student and say, look, if you need a few days off, if you need a few weeks off from tutoring, that's cool. Um, and I'm sure you guys too, as tutors, need some time off. Uh, too. Now, in addition to that, um, on that basis, um, I'd like to also remind tutors that if lessons aren't occurring on the holidays, sorry, aren't occurring on the holidays, but they're still on the system calendar, please do remove them or cancel them. Uh, I don't want to uh, have to invoice incorrectly invoice parents and only you know get an email call saying, "Hey, the lesson didn't occur. What's on? What's up?" Um, so make sure you do uh, remove or even add lessons that will be occurring on the holidays. Um, it's really up to you guys to have that control. I, I don't have time to manage all that, so make sure you, you take initiative and do that. Um, and in addition to that, guys, I've got my the, the first official LearnMate meetup occurring in two and a half weeks on the 9th of July. Um, so I would love to see all you guys there. I understand it's a very inopportune time with many of you not being available because you're overseas or you're out of Melbourne and so forth but if you can come guys I promise 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 it'll be amazing I'm putting a shit ton of value into it uh, to ensure that you guys achieve absolutely amazing success in, in your tutoring businesses um, so yeah feel free to, to come along I would absolutely love to see you there uh, and if you can't make it that's cool um, I'm probably going to record some of the uh, some of the talks and so forth but we'll see how that goes um, that's it for me guys. Thank you so much and have a superb Wednesday afternoon. Thanks.